everybody. It is Gina from Vintage Digs. I know I'm looking tragic today. I didn't get much sleep last night, but you know, it is what it is. So, I am in the process of making homemade chicken pot pie for my son. Um, I've got the dough already mixed up. I make homemade biscuit dough for mine. So, I've got that mixed up using shredded uh, butter, very cold, ice cold butter, just so you know. Uh, shredded butter, flour, baking soda, baking powder, salt, buttermilk. That's pretty much it. I'm going to put the recipe in here uh, if you guys want it. But that's my oven telling me it's heated. So I am actually, see if I can flip the camera around. I am actually, um, I put the dough into a big old iron skillet. This is one of my antique iron skillets I love. I cook in these all the time. This is my preferred cooking method. So, I've got my bottom layer of dough in. I'm not going up on the sides because this is going to rise a little bit. I'm not going to cook it all the way through. I'm just going to kind of pre-bake it a little bit in the oven. And then when I go to put the filling in, it's going to kind of press down a little bit. And then I can put the top crust on. So, anyway, I'm going to put this in the oven. And then I'm going to start making the gravy portion of um, the filling for the chicken pot pie. Okay, so next up, I've got some butter going and another iron skillet that I'm using. Um, I've chopped up probably a half of an onion. I'm not specific on all this stuff. I kind of just go by feel. Um, I'll try to be a little more specific when I post the ingredients and everything on there for you guys. But put a little bit of onion in there. I'm going to let that cook down a little bit. And then we're going to start making our gravy. So I'm just going to let this cook for just a minute. i got to find a spoon or something to stir it with. It doesn't burn on me. So we're just going to let this cook down a little bit. I'm going to turn my heat down so it doesn't burn. We don't want that burning. Turn that down just a little bit. And I'm going to let these get nice and soft because we don't want half-cooked onions in our pot pie. And once I put everything in and put it in the oven to cook, it's not going to cook very long. Just long enough for that top crust to brown. So I need all the ingredients on the inside to be pretty well done. Alright, so there's that. I'm going to let that finish cooking and then I'm going to get our stuff ready for our gravy. Okay, so this has been cooking for a few minutes. In fact, I let it get a little too done, but it's okay. We're, we're still fine here. So I'm going to add in a little bit of salt. Not much, because I tried to cut down on my salt a little bit. And a little bit of pepper, which, you know, I started using a bit more pepper because I cut down on my salt. you got to have flavor somewhere, right? So there is the pepper. Stir that around a little bit. And then we are going to add our flour to this to get our roux kind of going for our gravy. So let's put a little bit of flour in here. In case you guys don't know, I am a country cook, southern cook, whatever you want to call it. I don't measure much of anything. I go by look and just, you know, from how I was taught to cook from my mom and everything. So I kind of just go with it. And it usually works out pretty well in the end. Alright, so we're going to let this cook down just a little bit for our gravy. I'm messy too. I'm very messy. But that's okay. I'll clean it up afterwards. So let that go. And I'm going to get our broth ready. I saved my broth from uh, boiling the chicken earlier for the chicken pot pie. So I saved all that up. Um, for this. So I am going to get my broth ready. I'm going to ladle for that and I'm going to get out some milk to go in this to finish out our gravy. And I'm probably going to throw a little bit of thyme or something in there just to give it a little bit more flavor. Then we're going to start assembling. So hang on. Okay, so hopefully you can see it's a little bit darker than it was. So I'm going to ladle in some of this chicken broth that I saved from the chicken that I cooked earlier. I'm going to put that in there. 
to give it some flavor from the chicken. Get that going really good. And then I'm going to be adding some, oh shoot, I forgot my, um, my whisk. Let's see if I can stir it up a little bit like this. We're going to have to whisk it though to get the lumps out of it. But we'll get it started this way anyway. There's not much fat. It was just the fat from the butter when we were cooking our onion down. So, and a little bit of fat from the chicken broth. Because uh, I did leave the skin on the chicken to cook it so I could get that broth off of it. So it would have a little bit more flavor to it. So let me grab my whisk and then we're going to add some milk. Okay, so I got the whisk. Got most of the lumps out of it. It's not going to be perfectly smooth, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to add some... Actually, I'm adding buttermilk to it today. Um, and probably a little bit of regular milk. We'll see how it goes. I don't have much buttermilk left, and I'm trying to use it because I don't want it to go bad. Although, you know, you have a good shelf life on it. But there's not enough left to save to make, you know, something else with because I used it in my biscuits and... I'd already used it a couple of times before, so I'm nearly out. So that's why I decided to go ahead and put it in here. Let's see if it's going to be enough milk or not to get this going. So I did add a little bit of thyme while I was stirring. I forgot to tell you guys that. I just poured a little bit in there just to give it a little bit of flavor. And then we're going to taste that. Mmm, that's coming along, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the buttermilk really quick, because this is going to thicken quite a bit. And I don't want it to be, I don't like my pot pies to be, like, dry. I like it to have a lot of gravy on the inside. I prefer the gravy over the rest of the stuff, so I want to have a lot of gravy in there. So that's looking pretty good. Get that stirred up pretty good. Okay, so I am going to actually add in the chicken that I had already boiled this morning. I kind of just did a fine chop on it. I used thighs because that's what I had. Uh, I prefer the white meat chicken, but. I didn't have any, and I didn't want to go to the store, so we're having thighs in it today, which if you like dark meat, there's no problem with that. I know some people prefer the white, and by all means, use that if that's what you want, but this is what I had, and that's another part of country cooking is you kind of use what you got and make the best out of it. You have to get a little creative sometimes, but that's okay. We always figure it out in the end. So, put that chicken in there and get it all swirled around real good. And then, I'm actually using, which I heard, I'd never buy this, but I'm actually using um, canned vegetables. Because, again, I'm in a hurry. Normally, I would cook these from scratch. But, I'm taking a shortcut today. So... You've got canned vegetables. You can use that. You can put whatever vegetables you want in there. This has got uh, a couple of different kinds of beans and peas and potatoes and carrots and corn. So I figured that would be good enough for our pot pie. So I'm just going to get that kind of mixed around in there. And then we're going to put it into our crust. We're going to throw that top crust on it and we're going to bake it off. And it's going to be done. It's going to be time to ring the dinner bell at that point. So let me get this all incorporated and get it in that crust. And I'm going to have to have both hands to do that because these iron skillets are heavy enough as it is. And with it full like this, there is no way I'll be able to pick that up. So I am going to have to put the phone down. And then I'll have to come back with you guys in just a minute when I get it all kind of set up. So, hold on. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I got the filling <clears throat> into the pan there. I'm about to put uh, the rest of the biscuit dough on top to make a top crust. And then we're going to stick it in the oven. And I'm not even going to tell you a time this cooks because honestly, I cook it until the top crust is going brown. The inside is already hot because I've been cooking it this whole time. So we just got to get that crust browned up. And then it's going to be ready to go. So, what, 15, 20 minutes maybe? I'll give it a time so that I can, um, I'll put it on the timer so that I can uh, tell you guys about how long I cooked it. But normally I don't check time. I just go with it. So, anyway, there it is in the pan. I'm going to put the top crust on and stick it in the oven. And when it's done, I'll pull it out and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just took it out. It ended up taking about 20, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on, you know, your temperature oven, if it's going right or not. Mine cooked for about 27 minutes today. Um, I did a drop crust on this one. This was not a company's coming over pot pie. You know, this was just for my son. He doesn't care what it looks like. And when I'm in a time crunch, I just drop the crust on top. If I had company coming, it would be a different story. I'd roll it out and make it look pretty and everything. Maybe even put like a little leaf design or something on top of it to make it, you know, cutesy. But, like I said, he does not care. He's just going to tear into it and eat it. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit out and see what it looks like. Look at that. Lots and lots of crust, which is the way he likes it. Lots of gravy. We want lots of gravy in there because you don't want it so dry with all that crust. And that's kind of the look of it right there. So you can kind of see down in there the gravy and everything. There's some chicken. But anyway, looks like it turned out pretty well. I'm going to take, oh, cute, cute, a quick little taste. <laughs> oh, it's hot. I just took it out. Mmm. Very good. I don't want to talk with my mouth full. The thyme, you can taste. I just put a little bit in there. You can kind of see the specks of it in there. But it's got a really good flavor. Very chickeny. If that's a word. Very chickeny. And you got all your little vegetables in there. And it's about a million times better than those frozen pot pies are. And it's so easy to make. These are great. You can prep these ahead of time, put them in the refrigerator, put them in the freezer, whatever you want to do, and then you can take them out when you're ready to bake it. I'm going to include the recipe in the description below so you guys can kind of, if you want to try it out yourself. Again, you can adjust your spices. You can add other spices if you want to. I make it kind of plain because that's the way he likes it and I was making it for him. So... You can adjust your vegetables you put in there. You can put whatever you want. You can make it just chicken and gravy if you want to. I've seen that as well. So, again, very versatile. You can put the things you like or your family like in there. And just make it, you know, kind of cater to you. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I know, um, I, know I did. I like doing this kind of stuff, especially the quick recipes that I can kind of share with you guys on the go as I'm doing it. So, anyway, that was that for today. Go out there, especially in this cold weather, and make you a nice homemade chicken pot pie to warm up your belly. And make your ham family put a smile on their face because they got something homemade from your kitchen that was not that difficult. Again, really not hard to clean up. You have a couple of bowls and a pan, and you're ready to go. So, have a great rest of your day afternoon whatever time you're watching this and i will see you guys very soon again if you're not subscribed to me please make sure you do because i throw all kinds of weird content out just like this i do live sales with vintage i wanted to show you that i actually use my vintage stuff <laughs> and you know i do other content with shops shop alongs and things like that and hauls so please make sure you're subscribed if you're not already and please if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it. It helps me out tremendously. And I will see you guys next time. Let's go eat.